I'm Nikki, this is Jason, and this is Curiosity, our home and the driving force behind our thirst for exploration, literally and philosophically. Because we believe curiosity is the key to unlocking life. It's what pushes us outside our comfort zones, softens our assumptions, and helps us embrace the great unknown. This week, that comes in the form of setting sail for our most ambitious voyage yet. All right, this is it, almost. Almost two years since Curiosity sailed into this harbor. She is now finally sailing out of it, and we are headed to New Zealand. Oof. I, I, I almost can't believe it. Okay, let's do this. It's been a long journey, to say the least, and for those of you new, here's the short version of how we got here. You see, we've been nomadic for most of our adult lives, but our seafaring day started back in 2016 when we purchased Curiosity without a lick of experience. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we gonna, are we gonna accidental jive? I hope not. So we got a crash course in sailing and set off into the horizon. Seven countries and 13,000 nautical miles later, it was time for a trip to our homeland. So we sailed into Tonga and anchored the boat on land for cyclone season. We flew back to the States, spent some quality time with family and friends. Happy New Year! And we're on our way back, but then COVID hit. Quarantine and eventual border closures left us stranded in Fiji and our boat abandoned in Tonga. A year had passed by the time we were finally allowed back and our poor girl was in a sad state. It took months of pouring every ounce of elbow grease we could muster to get her somewhat seaworthy again but there are just some projects and parts we can't get in this remote island country. Okay, the windows are a bit of a problem. They've started to delaminate, which really means they're coming unglued. So if we didn't have these screws in here helping to hold it in place right now, they would just fall right out. Because it's not just like a regular plexiglass that we can go get and cut out and put in here. It's like a specialty type of plexiglass with a very special curvature to it. So we have to be able to take it in and have somebody fabricate one for us that is the same exact thing as what we have right now. And we cannot do that here. That needs to be in a mainland. And then there's the fridge freezer. We've got to replace the port lights, the trampolines, the new mainsail, the stanchion base, the cutlass bearing sleeve, and the list goes on and on and on and on. And we keep adding to it. Unfortunately, most borders throughout the Pacific are still closed, but New Zealand has an application for vessels needing major refit work. And that's definitely us. Yes, uh, Jason, uh, we can certainly help with the vessel exemption application. You've got a solid case. A lot of paperwork, fees, and six weeks later, we're approved. The Director General of Health of New Zealand has uh, decided to grant a vessel uh, exemption of one vessel curiosity. So that is that. Now we're setting off for a non-stop voyage from the tropics in the Kingdom of Tonga to the wilds of winter in New Zealand. It's a 1,300 nautical mile journey south where it will not only drop 20 degrees in Fahrenheit, but also in latitude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we are leaving with completely full batteries. That is a good feeling. Oof. A little bit sweaty here. It's uh been running around like crazy as I was checking out. They said, oh, well, Customs is gonna follow you out, so you need to tell them exactly when you're gonna leave. So it's just been like balls of the wall, getting everything done, getting all the engine checks done, clearing the knot log, getting everything prepped. And so we've just passed Customs. They're gonna follow us supposedly all the way out the channel to make sure we're actually leaving. It's sort of a thing they do now with COVID to make sure nobody, I guess, does anything they're not supposed to. It's bittersweet, super, super bittersweet to leave here. The people have been so good. By Tui, by Kellen Adriana, Ben and Lisa, gee, I mean, there's a thousand people. I won't name everybody. Thank you all for making this place so amazing. I mean, I couldn't have thought of a better place to be stuck during COVID. We're so grateful for everything the Tongans have done, for everything the, the expats have done, and all the support all around. Thanks, guys. The sale's gonna go good. It's gotta go good. Are we okay? There's a bilge alarm and a freshwater alarm. Running. All of a sudden, Jason came running up and he's like, there's water, there's water, there's water. And I was like, I don't understand. The bilge pump was on, but yet the freshwater pump was on, but no water was on. Oh, we're not even like 
fully out to sea yet and all of this has already happened. Not exactly how you want to start the trip. When you don't have a water maker. <laughs> ah! Okay. This can be exciting. You found it? That's here. Something uh, bust? Yeah, I guess so. I guess the pipe busted. Hey, we had some more toilet paper. <laughs> There just went like 50 gallons. That's uh, all fresh water. Dang. Should we uh, vacuum it out and then put it back in the tank? Yeah. <laughs> so crazy. Just broke, yeah. huh? I had a couple plugs made in case one of the pipes ever break or when I need to work on it. So I had two of them made. And, you needed them both? Uh, yeah, well, this faucet is old and it has like a braided mesh and it, the mesh just exploded. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So if these plugs work, it shouldn't leak and the light shouldn't go on. So I'm ready when you are. Okay. We do not want to see the bilge pump light go on. All right, here we go. Whew, okay. I think it worked. No leak here. We're good. You. Jeez. All right, and only a, a little water down. That yeah. could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. Jeez, talk about, I need to take a shower really bad. So I just came in to take a shower and I was like, holy crap, the light's on, what's going on? Oh my God! <laughs> exactly how I was like. Yep. I can attest to that. That's exactly what he was like. Okay. Just below those eyes that tell me you're okay It's written on your face As you come to life, I come alive Your silhouette in the summer sky But this is only a matter It can only get better It can only get better While we're doing it, we're out here I don't know how crazy it is I don't know what we're in for, it but kind of crazy. My hair is crazy. No, it feels kind of crazy. Oh yeah, <laughs> it does feel crazy because it's all stormy and you just, I don't know. It feels weird even just to think that we're going to be on such a long passage. We've got 10, 12 days ahead of us. Who knows how long it's going to take? Uh, a new country, which feels weird as well but good anyway i'm so excited i have so many emotions going on it was nuts getting out of there checkout process took two days uh so to get clearance to leave so that's nuts had to say goodbye to everybody that's the most goodbyes we've ever had to do other than whenever we left like from the united states because just so many friends we've been here for so stinking long anyway so yeah, mixed emotions all the way around. It feels a little sad, but it's so exciting at the same time. And here we go. Finally getting some wind and also getting our first storm. So let's get into it. Yeah, now we're getting up to seven knots at speed. I just had to back 
Take off on the engine so I can finish trimming the top. Of course, it's night and we're starting to get like 23, 24 knots of wind. So we decided to throw in another reef on the mainsail and of course the, the attachment point is seized. Anyway, oh, okay, being hailed. Kofua Island there, which is the volcano, and Kau, which is the dormant one, the taller one on the on the left. Ah, oh, what a night. Yeah, that was a pretty rough night, man. 30 plus knots of wind at about 80 degrees, the true wind, so we were 80 to 60 degrees, so we were kind of beating into it, and big waves, and sloppy seas, and not feeling great, and pitch black, no food. So, and then, yeah, I'm glad that night's over. Uh-oh. Water is coming in. Not gonna be good. Okay. Let's see how this works. Try to 
smoosh it into the crack. Yeah. Well, you haven't seen that much of me. It's because I kind of felt like crap all day. The weather's gotten a little bit better. We've only got 15 knots of wind and the sun is out, a little bit of blue sky, so I don't know. I'm feeling good. I mean, good, gooder, bitter. What I want to tell you is 155 nautical miles in our first 24 hours. It is 3 o'clock and that's how many miles we've done. So we are moving right along. So I'm running the engine every now and then to top up our battery because it's been so gray and cloudy. Our solar's not doing much, especially with the sail up. So we're kind of relying on the engine, which only puts in like 20 to 30 amps, which is not very much when you have a 1200 amp hour battery bank. So, I hate running the engine, especially when we don't need it. We are sailing, the engine is not. Like, it is what it is. Okay. It's a double rainbow. Oh yeah? Just barely. Huh. That's nice. That is nice. Beautiful rainbow on a gray day. Okay, let's pull it back down. You can only get better. You can only get better. And this is only a matter. It can only get better, it can only get better. Made it through our first day. <laughs> a little rough. <laughs> Feels like it's been two or three days. Just, what a start. Oh, so now I feel like I'm just maybe getting over the, over the hill and now it's gonna be better. Just like that first day of passage, you know what you're in for. It's all the nerves. Did I forget anything? Did I not do something I needed to do, whether it was for the boat or just like anything I needed to schedule anybody? Emails, I don't know. It's just so many things when you know you're leaving like the land of connectivity and resources and everything. And so, I feel <laughs> all the anxiety kind of melting away, easing into it. My head is clearing. This is where the real journey begins. That's what I feel like anyway. Turn your sorrow in, burn every piece of it. Let me comfort you, I'll be your go-to. Cause these are youthful days. We will grow in great works or better. Our time is best together. You, me, and C for like the next 10 days. You must know that I love you so. Never bargain you for your waiting gold. And this is only a measure. It can only get better. It can only get better. And this is only a measure. It can only get better. It can only get better. Honey, your dinghy looks very sad. It's like she's a little deflated, poor minion. I don't know what happened. Maybe too much pressure. It's the same thing we've always done. Yeah, it's what we've been doing for the past four or five years. Maybe it's just finally enough. Or she just has a small hole or leak or something somewhere. Definitely not happy. Poor girl. Have to get her fixed up when we get to New Zealand. But I'm feeling better. That's good news. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful day. What the heck are we gonna do? You think it's okay like this? Uh, I don't think we can do anything about it. 
good point. Before the sun appears, before the world has even stirred, let's get out of here. We don't need to hurry. The road ahead is clear. Let's follow the coast as far as it goes. Until we disappear That gives me an idea Let's get lost together Let's go chase that postcard Wish you were here forever Let's get lost together Never a dull moment! Never a dull moment! That's our main halyard, part of it anyway. The outer casing, is that called the sheave? I can't remember what that is. Yeah, I can't remember. Whatever, the outer casing of the line. Because there's the outside portion, and then there's the inside, which is like Dyneema or whatever. Clearly, I'm highly educated on these lines a little bit. The line inside, still holding on. Unfortunately, because of where that split, we can sort of still use it, but we have to keep the sail double reefed. We'll be able to keep it up like this for a little while, see what happens. Worst case, you can't keep it up, like it's just gonna let the, the line down, which means the sail goes down. It's not like it's stuck up, which would be way worse. Um, so, you know, I don't know. One more thing to deal with, one more thing to replace. <laughs> Guess we'll be doing all new running rigging whenever we get there as well, because now I'm not going to trust any of it. Anyway, let's see what happens in the next three hours. So let's get lost together. Let's go chase that postcard. I wish you were here. Let's get lost together. What a day. I just can't even believe what all has happened since we left. It's confirming that we really needed to get to somewhere with supplies and a good place to just work on the boat because <laughs> clearly we got a lot of stuff that needs some love. Oh my goodness. But, you know, it's incredible like how much can go wrong that doesn't really, I mean, that you can still just keep working through, you know? It's like you patch things up, you make it work, and you just keep it keep going and you can do that as long as you know there's still air in the boat and water outside something that we really didn't want to do which is stop off at Minerva Reef because there is a nasty little system that's headed our way right now and we need that to pass over us which is like the next day and a half uh, which will somewhat clear the path into New Zealand and it's not just because we don't want to get smacked it's we really don't want to get smacked coming into New Zealand because it can get really really nasty out there, especially this time of year. And what we've been seeing is the system moved through about every five days. And those systems have been literally like category one and two cyclones because the wind strength is so strong within them. So not something we want to get stuck out in. Uh, so we're going to make us off at Minerva for about a day and a half. It's not a great thing, not a terrible thing. We could stand to vacuum out our villages. We've got some water, a small leak somewhere. We just can't seem to figure out where it's coming from and obviously just assess some of the broken things, maybe see if we can patch up the dinghy, take care of some of these other little things before we take this next stretch. Yeah, that's what's happening.
<laughs> Sporting conditions out here. Oh man. The boat's been going so fast we've kind of had to keep everything reefed down and I don't even, it's not even a reefing point that we're on in general. We've just furled in most of it because we just need to slow down. We're getting there too quickly, which is not something you would normally say, but. No, we need to be there during daylight and with the sun as high as possible because it's a narrow entrance and there's yeah. bombies inside and we've never been here before. And it's two miles away and I can't even see it. trying to fix all this junk. Exactly. Tomato, onion, and garlic. Oh, if there was only smell of vision. It smells so good. A little bit of uh, lemon rosemary sea salt there. Love this stuff. Not sponsored, but should be. Definitely not the right type of pan. going to be a terrible idea, but I'm going to try it anyway. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah! Hey, 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 hey. Oh, okay, I did not think that was going to actually work. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> Omelette. <laughs> it's clearly my nap time. Coffee. Chocolate banana coconut bread. Oh. I'll, uh, I know I'm going to get asked. And it's just a really good one. So I'll drop the uh, recipe for that in the blog post. It goes with this video. Okay. Hmm. That's nice. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay up. I'll just get to work and then I'll be fine. But now I'm like, oh, maybe I should take a nap. I'm gonna make it. Ooh, yeah. Cheese. <laughs> 